Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Don't let's play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time, Finally. we were just arriving let's in the old city with. ruins so that we can go in. Apparently Gwenfin doesn't want to answer any questions, she just wants to walk in, which is fine, you know what. If she wants to do that, she can go right ahead. I hope she dies. It's darker than Andra's asshole in here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All yours. Dario said you know what to do. I do know what to do. I've already opened this whole thing though. Could you just let me control the characters? Thank you. All right, let's go. The elf jumps back as the door opens. She has her weapon raised, ready to attack. But seeing you, she slowly lowers it. I used to court a girl who did that whenever I stopped by. Miss her. Oh, it's you. But how'd you get through there? She peers through the door, looking at the shrine on the other side. Is that it? She growls in exper exasperation, looking past you. What exactly are you looking for? There's an old temple of Andra. Dario said it was just past this door. She looks around, as if hoping to find something she missed. I could look for this temple. Just what I was thinking. She grins, showing you a row of crooked teeth. The one we need is bigger, and it should have a very specific mosaic. You'll know it when you see it. She looks at the mildewy walls and wraps her arms around her shoulders again. I'll wait here. Come tell me when you found it. What's this one? This is Insight. You're scared to go yourself? You know, the Juana send people down here to be eaten by monstrous whores, right? I'll see what I can do. You can take whatever you can carry out of the temple. Just report back when you found it. We already know exactly where it is. But it's not in this section. So we have to go jump back into the old city, wander up to where the temple is. I feel like there should be something here. I guess not necessarily. Okie dokie, let's transfer into the old city. I think we have to click the mosaic and then go back and tell her where it is and then she comes to see it or something like that. We'll figure it out. Can't be that hard to do. We already killed a giant death bug. That's the mosaic right there. I'll just quick save because you never know. I still can't believe our barbarian hasn't gained a level yet. Our barbarian chanter, I should say. That's not our barbarian chanter. There he is. Close, 300 experience or so. a long, long path. If only this part wasn't busted, it'd be so much shorter. Done is done. The mosaic. We're also going to loot this thing while we're here. Place the other conch. The other shell slides into place, glowing as brightly as its twin. A counterpoint melody rises from it. The carving shudders, and something rumbles beneath your feet. You watch as the wall panel sinks into the floor. It's not showing the other thing. My immersion. Get toy. All right. There's some traps in here and stuff. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. There's a shield called Katu Skelth. It is a plus one engagement, exceptional soul strike, heavy shard, which is deflection, which improves the athletic skill, which is nice. Um, and luminous dissonance, minus 10% incoming damage from spells, improves the metaphysic skills, and plus five incoming damage from weapons. So weapons hurt a bit more, but spells hurt a lot less. And we also have some exceptional scale armor and jade. And uh, what is that? A poleaxe. It's an exceptional plus two poleaxe, which has reckless cyclone. Standard attack AoE hits primary target and up to two, or plus, up to plus two additional targets, friend or foe. Um, at blades reach, minus 100% melee damage received for 
zero seconds on launching an attack. Lots of fancy item too. And we'll grab that as well. That floor is doing some graphically weird things. But okay. It's fine. No big deal. We robbed the thing. That shield's actually way nicer than the one Edir has though, I think. Considering he's just using a fine shield. Let's go put that on. Now that looks fancy. His accuracy is way down because of it though. It is a large shield. But it's fine. What's his accuracy? Can't be that bad. His accuracy is 51. I mean it's a little bad. It'll be fine. Let's go tell that girl that we found the mosaic. And she can come do whatever she wants to do. We already have the treasures. We'll get some sweet quest experience. We might have to go kill Dario because I think we might have just stolen the treasure he wanted. Unless he just wants the mosaic, in which case you can have it. Unless it's worth a lot of money. In which case I want it. And he will die. I'm all about the you money in this game so far. Trees. There's just so many things I want to buy. That's all what it really boils down to. There is a boat I want to buy, there's sails and a hull I want to buy. I need to buy a spyglass because I keep forgetting to buy one. You striding over corpses. So many corpses. We have such low health. Oh, it's because we are injured. We normally have more. Got something for me? I found the old temple in a flooded spot where the falls meet. Good work. I'll make sure no one else disturbs it. She claps you on the shoulder. Meantime, Dario will be pleased to hear the news. How about you go tell him and collect your reward? What does he want with the mosaic of Uzai Ukaizo? Ukaizo? Yeah, Ukaizo. Her smile freezes on her face. I know you're a big name among the Principi, but I'm in no place to go talking about this. Dario's the only one to talk about Dario's business. If I was you, I'd forget about this and take my pay. But it's your neck. She shrugs. If Dario be sending his ships up Woodica's ashy hole on an old bit of bait, who are we to be stopping him? Me? I want the treasure that it might be there. Does no one else think of these things? In our group? If he wants whatever is on that mosaic slash map more than the treasure that we just found, then it's gotta be pretty damn good. Why is it such a long way to Delver's Road? Oh well. We haven't actually gone down this dock area. Maybe we can find some treasure to loot. And then we'll go talk to Dario. We'll get our sweet, sweet quest rewards. And then we'll go from there. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that, uh... I'm gonna move my microphone a little bit. It looks a little quiet on the encoder. There we go, that's probably a little bit better. If the beginning was a little bit muffled, I apologize. It appears to be in the right position now. I just noticed it was like five decibels lower than it usually is. Hopefully that's not such a big deal. You back to see the boss. Go! I need to kill you before you drive me insane. What is it? Of course. Keeping an eye out. Leave it. It's a lot of food and stuff. What's this thing? Oh, it's a pulley. We could just pulley across. Oh, there's a much faster way to travel. A blade in the dark. I am just dumb. That's okay. We've learned for next time. We can just go across there. That saves us a little bit of walking in the future, if we ever have to come back down here. Oh, our barbarian also leveled up. We should probably get him as a level. Bluff and Athletics. Uh, one ability for one class. So we can get... One, we already have one stands alone. Let's get a Chanter ability. We have a few, but... Two 
two will o wisps might be really good, actually. I could grab the shield breaking one plus the shield cracks. It might help us against really armored targets. That's a two point investment. But it might be worthwhile, especially with our staggering loss against the steel forge construct, whatever it is. So that might be worth getting. In fact, we're going to do it anyways. I'm hoping to help against the Steel Forge thing because it just, it did kill us pretty bad. And it wasn't because it was doing a whole lot of damage. It was actually more of like a long-term fight that I couldn't keep up with because, well, it doesn't do huge amounts of damage per hit. It does a fair amount. And I couldn't hit it for any real amount of damage. So just by attrition, it won. We ran out of heals and stuff like that. You return to the darkness, go to Darius Hardo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what Darius has to say about our discovery. We might have to fight him and his baddies. Thug. How many people are here? There's only seven, eight. Captain. Boy. Happy to oblige. Of course. There's a lot of enemies in this room. Yep, whatever you need. All right, that's gonna be our setup in case we have to fight. What do you require? So about the cornet of waves. A most agreeable topic, or so I hope. He draws his hands together and regards you over long, tented fingers. I found a mosaic in the temple of Andra, deep in the old city. Galarde. You watchers truly are workers of miracles. He claps, and a figure waiting by the door scurries into the narrows. What is your interest in New Zyko? Ukaizo. Jeez, I can't say that word. He smiles, but he fidgets madly with the gold at the hem of his tunic. Given how highly the Kasitas speak of you, I suppose it is only a matter of time before you hear it from one of them. Ukaizo was once the most fertile and prosperous island in Deadfire but it has been lost for over 2,000 years. It is little more than legend now, but some in the Consuelo Mescasitas believe it exists still. If it still existed, you wouldn't be studying old murals to find it. Perhaps you're right, but who am I to question the wisdom of the Consuelo? He gives you an appraising look. You are an individual of particular discretion. I would ask that you exercise that quality and tell no one of this, especially the Juana. He clears his throat and produces a blunderbuss. After a brief pause, he whirls it around and holds it out to you. Never let it be said that Dario does not pay a fair price. We gained the kitchen stove. The item was put into your stash. This job got complicated. That raises my price. He gives you a respectful, if strained, smile and nods to one of his attendants, who produces a bag of coin. Now, allow us to put the question of money to rest. It is an unseemly topic to linger on. Let's discuss something else. What do you require? I need to speak with Mad Marina. You can find her in the Undercroft, though I should warn you not to expect as much civility. We already talked to her. Morena is like the rest of Aldi's new bloods. Coin hungry and temperamental with little patience for courtesy. The Principe seemed divided. What side are you on? Why must we speak of sides? Like squabbling merchants from the republics. He makes a face as if he just smelled something awful. Once, there were no sides. Only Principe, a people united by common interest and culture. But as our fame has grown, so have our numbers. Many of these new bloods have no sense of restraint and little regard for our heritage. His long fingers stray to a shining southernet. Uh, he ain't blowing ballast, Cap. Don't mean there's a course to be charted back in the golden days, though. With a sigh, Seraphin shrugs. If you cling too tightly to old ways, you'll die with them. And if we discard them, who are we then? Simple marauders? 
The new bloods are principy too now, and many are inventive in ways the old god is not. What happened to your legs? A storm, a rash decision, and an accident at sea. One that took my sailing days, but not my skill with the needle. He smiles cryptically. Life in the dead fire is unpredictable. Sometimes it takes you in its jaws only to spit you out onto some new shore. A moment, I almost forgot. He takes the needlework from the table and unfurls it. It's larger than it initially looked. Percom Blanca. Take it and indulge my vanity. He hands you a lovingly crafted flag. It is not as grand as the sails I once made, but my fingers are ever restless. We can now fly the Principe colors, yes, of course. and maybe they won't bother us as much. But then the Valian and Raid Saren merchant companies will. Oh, we're stuck on a wall, I see. Well, that's a neat bug. There we go. Uh, back to the gullet. So we are officially done here, I think. We could go to the Overlook and finish up that area. There's some places we haven't explored there. Uh, we've done most of the Temple District, which is good. We got a good chunk of that done. Let's take a look. Refuse Pile, we've been there. We've done that. Enway's home, we did that. Bellis's home, we've been there. Piha's home, we did that. We went down the lift. We've been to Nekataka, we've been to the hole. And we've been to Pitli's Sanctuary. So I guess that's it for this zone. Whatever you need. I'm pretty sure. For now, at least. We'll do a good sweep later, just to make sure we didn't miss anything, but for now... I think we are ready to head off to the next one. Let's go to Pariki's Overlook. There's a few places we haven't gone there, like the Dark Cupboard, or... What's his name's mansion? The Arcane Guy. The Wizard. I can't remember his name now. It literally starts with Ark something. Arkhamir. That's the one. Potions and elixirs of the dark cupboard. Oh, we've been to the dark cupboard. Right, she wants us to hunt down some thief guy. Forgot about that. We'll figure that out in a bit. Okay, let's go see what's around. There's some trees. There's a trader. A stray cat! I think we are collecting all of the animals also. Oh. The sea is true home. Not smelly mountain. Who are you? What you want? The Emperor calls from you with a sharp hiss. What are you doing out here? Eh, Archimere doesn't let worthless idiot outside after worthless idiot spray dung on stupid tablet. I'd be mad too if you spilled dung on my tablet computer. But Archimere not home. A mischievous grin splits the imp's bony features. So worthless idiot watches the ships come in. Looks at all the tasty gulls. It sighs down at the vista of ocean and docks. You want to set sail and eat gulls? You're welcome aboard my ship. The imp takes in your words, its eyes widening to the size of moist saucers. A flap of its wings carries it closer to whisper in your ear. How often you beat your crew, huh? It doesn't whisper at all, and the question sends a ringing through your ears. Follow my orders, and we shouldn't have a problem. I join crew? I join crew! The imp flutters an excited little circle. It points down at the distant shape of Queen's Perth and salivates at the sights of gulls landing on the rigging of Invincible Four. Well, there we go, we got a new crew. And a cat. Idir, I think, is running out of inventory for his animal pals, though. Where'd they go? What does this one do? Plus one perception as well. We have gone far from being a kitten killer. We've fallen far from our lofty mantle back in Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2. Now, we are... The rescuer slash defender of innocent animals. What has come of my life? You invited that imp to your crew? Disgusting. I'm sure that imp is not- he's got feelings. He's got a feeling, I'm sure. He eats seagulls, and seagulls are basically giant flying rats, so... That's happy enough. Ooh, we can go to the bathhouse. We haven't done that yet. Alfia's Raymonds. That is an awesome name. Alright, well, Mr. Rainmans, I need to loot you. And since you are busy over here, I'm just gonna casually steal that and that. 
Uh, why would you walk to where the if chest is? If you find is? yourself in need of comfortable garb, I'm happy to oblige. The dwarf tips his head in a curt professional manner. And before you ask, no. I shouldn't have trouble fitting you for something. He appraises you, nodding slowly. What do we get? We can get a cloak, which gives plus three shock rating, shock armor rating, grand storm of the seven bolts, and shock damage AoE when knocked out. Burglar's grub, gloves are plus one dex, plus two mechanics, plus two athletics. Uh, trolls, three troll stitched cape is plus five health restored every 12 seconds, minus two burn armor rating, minus two corrode armor rating. This is a toss back to D&D &D where trolls can only be, on oh, Pathfinder I guess, where trolls can only be permanently killed by fire or acid, certain trolls anyways. Nigati's Girdle, plus 2 Athletics, 75% chance to cast Interrupting Crush Damage AoE when critically hit in melee, and plus 2 Crush Armor Rating, the worst belt. I was kind of hoping for his, like, armor, so, well, see ya. As you wish. You must gather We're so poor, we don't have enough money to be wasting it on those things. Alright, so we've done that. Archimere's Manor, we'll do that in a sec here. I guess the bathhouse. Let's do Archimere's or estate then. Manor, whatever it is. It looks like a actually kinda of looks like a manor. Actually it looks kinda of like a keep, to be honest. Lockpick ten, you say. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. I have a feeling this is gonna go terribly, terribly wrong. Hello? No, let's hard save right here. Just in case. Arky's Manor. Ah, shit. It's an ironclad. The imp is not such a big deal. The uh, ironclads are. Especially since there's three of them. As you wish. Okay, we need to finish this guy off quick. And you need to do our defensive bubble. And also need to spread my group out a teensy bit. Okay, good enough. Do your that thing. The imp is dead, so let's get into this fight in earnest. So, ironclads have just tons of um, armor. We're not gonna hit them, are we? <laughs> Seraphin just died. What? The imp is still alive? Oops, don't mean to move you. You just stay right there. Pretend you didn't see that. It's cool, we can we can res Seraphin, but I need to go get that imp dead. There we go. The problem with these guys are they have just boatloads of armor and they just suck to fight. And it doesn't help our missing our attacks. There we go, we actually hit him. That's a good start. We should probably put on penetration. Uh the damage boost. Penetration. Guardian stance. I don't know how I rezzed him. But regardless, stand over here somewhere. We must have hit that construct good because he's looking right at us. If we can get one of them down, we should be fine. Shoot that guy, actually. We can do another Cypher hit. And we can get our skills back. Come on, just kill one. We've killed one! We're starting on the second one now. Actually, we're doing okay, in terms of everything that could go wrong. We're doing not too bad. We have a 15% chance to hit with that, which is really not good. There we 
everyone has AI on, right? There we go. Now everyone has AI on. Once two go down, we'll be in even better shape. That's not happening yet. Why? Go fight that now. Whoa, that hurt. Whatever that was. Um, you know what? It didn't hurt that badly, and I can just heal with uh, the Ring of Gone. I should probably heal you two, though. You're looking a little worse for the wear. Four damage. Good job, Eltimar. Come on. Almost dead. Time to get her some spells back so she can actually help out. Sure thing. Yay, we killed another one. Now I need to find a way to get into melee. There's like worms and stuff in the way. Why do they hate my main character so much? No one noticed that, right? I need something stronger. No one noticed that, right? Where is this? Is that this one go again? No one noticed that, right? We're just fine. Things are going a okay for us slowly. Except that explosion ability is annoying. Come on. Someone finish this thing off. Yay! Is there a sword up another level yet? I feel like we killed a bunch of things since the last time. Nope, 22 out of 25, so we're not quite there yet. That was a big fight though. Right side? I think we should be free to loot this place with impunity now. Oh crap, there's another imp. Luckily, Imp's super easy to kill. I don't know if it counts as a kith. If it does, I'll just let my main character take it down. Does it count as a kith? It does! Sweet. There's another Imp coming at some point. I know there is. Because I saw it over there. Over there somewhere. Hey, sure. There it is. No prisoners. You guys, take a break. What is? I'll take care of it. We have one more to kill. Once we get our one more kill of an imp or something like that, we will be up a level. Or not a level, but another sword level, I guess I should say. I like how the imp shut the door behind itself. That's kind of neat. Oh, an imp! Yes! Perfect! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Nobody else does anything. That also means you. No! Nobody else shoots! Where is it? Get over here. No one's responsible for killing this imp but me. That should be it for the sword. Excellent. Did I do something 
wrong? Maud Weir pauses, choosing its next words carefully. When we kill somebody, you know, I mean, it's still great, you're fine, but... <laughs> I've noticed you use a lot of the same moves every time, and you don't polish me as often as you used to. Things are getting weird with the sword. I look at what he's doing with his weapon, and I, I wish it was me. Uh, not with him, of course. I mean, with you. They look happy together. Maudweer hesitates. I never got bored with my owner. She always kept things fresh. Why can't you be more like her? If I was you, I'd be browsing weapon shops. Send a message. Who is this actually about? You're not even trying anymore. <laughs> it's like you don't care if I'm your sword or not. Maudir pauses, trembling as if, as if it's trying to tamp down some unvoiced emotion. I don't think this is really about me. You, you think just because you held me, used me to slice up countless monsters, that you know me? The... I think it's supposed to be the sword. The sword shakes itself out of your hands and onto the ground, turning itself away from you. I know I shouldn't talk about her anymore. My, my owner, I mean. That part of my life... is over. She made me. I tried my best for her. Always kept my edge. Why did she leave me behind? It sniffles. I just... I need closure. I need to know why. What did I do wrong? When we find her, you should ask. I suppose even if we do find her, there's no guarantee she'll give me a real reason. Maybe it's stupid of me to want one. Anyway, thank you for listening. It is still an exceptional sword. It's still restricted to us. But we also got bottoms up for an experimentation. Strike with the pommel, inflicting bonus crush and shock damage, and inflicting stun upon the target once per. We need to talk with Jungfrith and Dunnage about Modweir. As you wish. Well, S things are getting weird with the sword. There's no way around that. Things are just getting kind of uncomfortable at times. <laughs> She's making it sound like we're banging, and we're just killing people. Not the same thing. So we can go down to the laboratory, or we can go up to the upper floor. Let's go to the upper floor first, and then we'll head down to the laboratory later. And yes, I know some people pronounce it laboratory, but... Laboratory is fine. Hey. Yellow Eye 3. Goodbye, Yellow Eye 3. Oh, we've already talked to Young Frith and Dunnage about Modware, apparently. I don't know what's going on, but okay. What do you want? Uh, okay. I guess that just bugged out a little bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully it won't bug us out from the quest. That was weird. Okay, so there's nothing else up here. Except we can go to Pariki's Overlook. I guess we should take a look out there and see what there is. Oh, we're out of time. We're like way over time. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. We'll finish exploring this place. We'll head down into the laboratory and then we will um, go deal with this. Maybe we'll just leave and go to Dunnage. Deal with the sword thing once and for all. Take care, guys.